hello and welcome back to my channel my name is denny if you're new here welcome if you're an oldie but goodie welcome back today we have our september empties so i have empties for the month of september i have quite a bit of stuff i'm just gonna jump right into it if you're new here at the end of my video i will give you a tally a total of all the products that were used uh, and also give you a running total for the whole year. Uh, and I think we have a goal of $3,000 to use. And we'll know exactly where we are in just a little bit. So uh, sit tight. Let's get on it. So my first item that I have is a soap. It's a body wash by Dial. And it's the Dragon Fruit. This one was a new scent to me because I... I wasn't really familiar with it. It was okay. It's not something that I would go back out to get. And this is a limited edition one. So I just wanted to see like if I liked it. Um, but nothing that I would want to stick to. Next product I have is from Allsies. And it's the Miracle Curl. And if you've been around here, you know that I use this leave-in detangling milk. <sighs> religiously because it's so good it works to detangle your hair it just smooths out everything i really love it and i actually need a backup then the next thing i have is the vagisil ph balance intimate wash this one i picked up because they didn't have the one that i normally get and i mean it was okay um but i do like a certain fragrance I have a hand soap this one i got at the dollar store it's the lark and danver uh ocean fresh soap i really didn't like the way this lathered it didn't have a good lathering to it so won't be getting that again we have here a product from belief this is the aqua bomb sleep mask love 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 belief products so i'm definitely going to be getting Full size of this at some point but i still have some samples to go through so i won't buy them just yet we have some toothpaste this one is from my husband and there's actually two of these colgate uh optic whites he really likes this brand um of toothpaste product i have is a eyeshadow primer and this is the bare minerals gen nude eyeshadow primer which i love and i really need another one of these <laughs> Okay, then I tried a sample pack of the Le Base Pro by Lancome. This is a primer, and I thought it was good. Um, it's a more like silicone-y, greasy type of a formula, but I do like it for pore fillings. We have some nails by Kiss. You guys already know I'm addicted to press-on nails. These were really nice. I love the um, the Kiss nails. It's a shame they don't come in more colors. That's then I have the Soe. Uh, revitalizing rose mist this i love so i switched over i used to use the mario badescu facial spray but this this right here is like one of my favorite it can be used as a toner it can be used like as a like refreshing spray it can be used multiple different ways so i i just like it a whole lot and it's super cheap definitely going to be picking that up in the future we ended up using the cleansing spa water wipes that were ridiculously priced at $17 that um, came in the BoxyCharm. This is the uh, Cogendo uh, wipes. I saw nothing different between these wipes and other wipes. They were wipes. Come on. $17 for some wipes. Not going to be purchasing that. I have here the um, Essentials Body Wash. This is the Clear Water Body Wash. I talk about this all the time. I love the way this smells. It just smells like laundry. And I like to smell clean, like laundry. We have a, a perfume by Chanel. This is my husband's like cologne, not perfume. Um, it's the Blue de Chanel, and he loved this scent. Use it up, and I don't know if we'll be getting that in the future for him again. We have here um, Marlo Body Wash. This is also one of my husband's body washes. He never quite tells me if he loves certain things or not. We have from Tony Moly, this is the Black Tea uh, Classic Serum. And I really enjoyed using this serum. I thought it was gonna have a weird smell, but it actually smelled normal and felt great on my skin. So love that have another pack of nails sassy and chic ones you're gonna see a couple of those my husband also used up the tommy bahama martinique 
uh, cologne and he liked this as well so he finished up this whole bottle this is another pricey one then i finished up the ralph by ralph lauren i love this scent actually and i don't know if i will pick it up again but i did enjoy finishing it up this one was the sean mendez i absolutely love this packaging and it has like the little guitar pick and this right here is like the details these are like uh guitar strings this scent is a unisex scent love it yeah um we both use this um fragrance love it already repurchased it already have it got a couple of the bolero wipes here i have this one right here which is the hydromus coconut water i didn't like the way this one smelled and this other one is the pink uh sea salt and rose water like this one a little bit more we have here something that's a vitamin but i got it in one of my subscription boxes so i thought i would mention it it's a fish oil by aqua biome and i ended up using this all up I, what i really liked about this fish oil was actual capsules had a lemon taste to them so i really like that because fish oil can be really stinky but that just made it really easy to take I have several toothbrush uh things that we collected the reach toothbrushes uh, i didn't keep the toothbrushes for themselves but um i am showing you three of these so i have this is the vital vita 12 this is the synergy serum and this one over here is the all-in-one radiance cream so um these kind of go in combination like this is a day cream and this is a like a night cream so uh i ended up using these guys up liked it a whole lot and i have more of this um i really like their toner in this one a whole lot then we have a energy wash shower gel by avon and this is my husband's he used this up and he likes like i said all of these men things also he put in here this gentle massage bar i think this was for, like one of those hotel bath soaps i don't know why he brought it back home and used it but um but yeah that's uh, another set of sassy and chic nails always get those i get them at the dollar store if anyone was wondering and i have tons of videos for that uh, then um i ended up using the crest uh what is it called 3d white this is my favorite uh this one's in radiant mint yeah, I always get that one. Then something that I hated, <laughs> I got the Elemis Smoothing uh, Apricot Toner. This smelled kind of like fuchi. It, sorry, if you guys don't know, like in Spanish, we say like when something smells funky, we say fuchi. This smelled fuchi, okay? Like I did not like the way this smelled. Putting it on my face every night and every morning was just like do i really have to use this so the scent on this i don't know if it was like the apricot smell that i don't like or if it was just like ingredients together that i didn't like anyway a whole lot of nope i don't like that mm -mm. then i have a toner from laneige this one actually is for combination to oily skin so i wish i would have had like for the dry skin because I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. This was not bad, but it definitely wasn't for my skin type. We have from Belief, you guys already know I'm obsessed with Belief products. This is the Hungarian Water Essence. Love this, definitely would buy it. Just love it. I have another sample of that, so I won't get any of that anytime soon. Then from Spa Life, I used two of their eye patches because like lately my under eye section has needed just just a little bit more love and care so we use those definitely will continue using those i have another one um another eye patch but from south maine and this one i liked as well i kind of always like the eye patches because i feel like they hydrate under the eye and they feel good then we have two boxes of the irish spring soap has been used these bars uh he just likes them then we have several face masks on it. I have two from the brand Leaders. This is the Amino Moisture Mask. Love these guys. I have like a pack that came with 10 of them, so love it. Then we have the Green Tea Mask by Arul, and I like that one as well. We had the Everyday Brightening Pearl. This is a face story one that I received. I really like that one as well. And then another face story one, the Sun Bay. I like this one. 
I wish I could have used it if I was like in the sun. I think it would have like done something for me. Then we have a eyebrow pencil. Okay, this is not quite finished all the way, but um, it's really stiff and every time I use it, it's been pulling out a lot of my eyebrows. So I'm discontinuing the use of it. This is a Giordana Cosmetics in the 04 light taupe. I really liked it at first, but it's it's hard now. So it doesn't, it's just pulling my hairs. Then I had, um, I did a hair mask. This one was the Unwind by Hass, the Province Rose. And it's like a wine scented hair mask. I really like the idea. I don't know that I love this scent, but it wasn't bad or annoying. I really can't say anything bad. Like I felt like it was nourishing my hair. It felt good on my hair, but I don't know that I love this particular scent. That's, that's the only thing. As for nails, we also have LA Colors. This one was like a mermaid print one. And then the Nailicious Travoli ones in like a blue pattern. These were really nice. And I really like the way these fit. They look super natural on your nails. Got some cotton rounds. No surprise, they're just always using cotton rounds. Always will get them. I tried out the Cetaphil cleanser. And this one is in the gentle skin. Really like this. And I would totally try this again in the future. Like in a bigger type of bottle. It's just a really soft cleanser. We have the It Confidence in a Cream. This is the Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. I really like this. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. And I have a full size of it. So, you know, we'll see that in the future again. And then um, from Clarins, I use their serum. This is the Extra Firming Tightening lifting botanical serum i really like this and i have more samples of this so you'll see more of this as well then i did use some um, foundations from the urban decay naked skin these were samples i did use it i don't think i love this foundation at all um definitely wouldn't be purchasing it at all but from ulta i got their poreless primer love this por um, poreless primer it's a, like a smooth and defines the pores it was very pore filling love it and I finished it all up then the next thing that I have is from hey honey and this is also a serum for the uh under eyes um it's a serum no it's a open your eyes eye contour lifting liquid really like this enjoyed it a whole lot um sad that it's gone but hey then I used a moisturizer by mad didn't care for it too much um, did use a anti-aging uh, serum gel by Innisfree. Liked it, but it was a really small sample. And then we have from Alavina. This is a men's product. This was from my husband. All in one body wash. He always loves these body washes. So then I have this super glue that um, I use for my nails. So that comes in a two pack. And last but not least in here from Laneige. I have this multi cleanser for all skin types. I like this, but it wasn't an everyday type use seal just because it had like little exfoliating grains. And I don't think for everyday use, you should think you should exfoliate every single day. That was everything that I had in my empty. So now we're going to go on to totals. I hope I wasn't talking too fast. I'm just trying to get through this video as quick as possible. This month, we used a total of $452 with nine cents. Can you believe that? That is a hefty total. But last month was like the biggest total by far with like $500. And our running total for the whole year is... $2,654 with 48 cents. Wow. Like, I think I always say, wow. Like, I'm floored with the amount of products and things that get used up. I'm, I think we're doing really well this year. And, you know, there's only but like, what, 400 more dollars or so, like 300 and something dollars more to go, which I think we can achieve by the end of the year. Uh, wish me luck on that. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.